Have you ever wondered how airline food is made? You might think it's been sitting in a freezer, but if you're flying out of Dubai International Airport, your salad was probably harvested the very same day. All thanks to the world's largest vertical farm. This huge warehouse in Dubai is filled with rows and rows of delicious veg. Kale, spinach, four or five different uh, types of lettuces at the moment, microgreens, some herbs, edible flowers we started as well recently. Meet Feras Al Sufi, the veggie visionary behind this huge operation. I'm the general manager of Emirates Bustanica, the world's largest indoor vertical farm. So Feras, how are you growing this much veg in the middle of the desert? with no soil. We get the seeds, we plant them into horti cubes, and then we soak them, we close it in a, in a dome, blackout dome, to imitate again when you put a seal in your soil, so it does not uh, see any light. And then within two weeks almost, we take it out, it's ready from the nursery. Then the whole spectrum of lights start to change, the nutrients within the water start to change. And then within four weeks, we do the first harvest, and then two weeks later, because the roots now are strong and the stems are developed, we do the second harvest, and then on third week, we do the third harvest. This is a process called hydroponic farming. Hydroponic farming is uh, growing plants on, uh, on water, so we grow them on floating boards. So we deliver the uh, perfect parameters for our plants to grow. They're all at the same level, same size, same crunchiness, same colors. Feras, how many of these luxury leafy greens are you making? Today we can produce almost between two to three tons daily volume of uh, leafy greens. For context, a traditional farm would need almost 50 times more land than Bustanica to produce the same amount. Bustanica supplies most of Dubai's five-star hotels and restaurants, but their biggest job is providing leafy greens for over 130 airlines flying out of Dubai Airport. I think we need a trip to the kitchen. My name is Patrick Trish. I'm an executive sous chef at Emirates Flight Catering. We are producing an average of 220,000 meals per day. That's a lot of meals to be responsible for. I dream of in-flight meals mostly every night. And are they nightmares or happy dreams? There's both, <laughs> a bit of both. When I first started working here, it was extremely overwhelming to deal with these large amounts of meals per day. With time, you do get used to it, but the challenges are, they stay the same. Quality airline food requires a certain expertise. When cooking an in-flight meal, we have to consider a lot of factors that are different in any restaurant. We have to make sure that items are undercooked so they can be reheated and still be as you want them to be. I cannot fully cook a piece of fish here. I have to undercook it and calculate how long it is reheated in flight to be the quality that I want you to have it. So Patrick, how do you create a new in-flight meal? We start by first sampling the ingredient. We look at an ingredient that is new, we see what kind of dishes we can create from that, and we will uh, plan on how do they travel. We need to test the meals a few times in a specific oven, how do they reheat, how do they taste after being in a truck and in a meal cart. We do food tastings every single day, and I eat so much food here that I struggle to eat at home after work. It must be useful having the world's largest vertical farm on your doorstep. Out of the 25,000 meals that we're cooking for EK premium flights, approximately 50% have leafy greens in them. For us, it is extremely important to work with forward-thinking companies such as Bustanica because it gives us an opportunity to have fresh ingredients every day as we need them. Sounds like it's always dinner time for flight catering. This team works around the clock to provide fresh meals every single day. So next time, rest assured, your salad was probably harvested the very same morning.